three years. Three years Jesus had been with his disciples as they listened to him speak about his non-earthly kingdom. For the last 40 days, they have seen that once dead Jesus alive again. He had opened their minds to this, everything that was written about him in the scriptures, of how he had to die and rise again. They had the very best Bible class ever by the very best Bible teacher ever. And they still didn't get it. They come to Jesus and say, Jesus, when are you going to restore the glory of Israel, David's kingdom, so that we can be chiefs in your cabinet? That's what the disciples are concerned about. Who was the greatest and who was going to be first? Luke doesn't record Jesus doing a face palm there, but I kind of think maybe he did. You see, the thing is, though, I get the disciples. We all have this preconceived idea about who we want Jesus to be. And when he doesn't conform himself to us, we get frustrated with Jesus and we think he's the problem. Okay, so maybe Jesus didn't actually do the face palm there because the text actually says that he gently corrects his wayward, erring friends. Essentially, Jesus says, no, wait a second, boys. There's a gift coming for you that's going to change everything. The Holy Spirit is coming, and then you will finally understand me. That's the real power, to believe in and understand that Jesus is the Christ, the one who has forgiven you all of your sins and the sins of the whole world, so that all who believe in Jesus by the preaching of the apostles and their successors, pastors, you will have eternal life then Jesus does a vanishing act for your benefit. See, when Jesus is visible, he could only be in one place at one time. But with his ascension, Jesus has transformed his appearance so that he can fill all things, be all places, be present in bread and wine, his true body and blood, to for, put his forgiveness directly into you for the assurance that you are forgiven by God himself. Instead of conforming himself to you, to your wants, to your wishes, to your ridiculous notions, Jesus, through his invisible but very present presence in the word and sacraments, conforms you to his image. Now, one day, Jesus is going to be seen by everybody as he comes again in all of his glory with all of his angels in power to end history and to begin eternity. Then, his kingdom will be manifested on earth, and we will be with Jesus for eternity. What a glorious day that will be, a day that will have no end.